funny that he's not here yet saying that. Like, a bird. What's happened? Got me? What? Right. So, mm. this is so good. They're not big enough though. But then if they was big enough, and they was bigger than they'd be sickly, wouldn't they? The Milky Bar yogurt, if it was bigger than this, then it would be sickly, wouldn't it? So, it's a good size, to be honest. Because then like, you ruin it and you have too much. Oh my god, Matthew, I found I found the real Martha. I found a fucking Twitter account. She wrote his fucking name in 2021, I think it was. She wrote a tweet about him. She's put pictures of herself sat in the fucking pub. She's called Fiona. Do you want me to show you? Oh my god, it's so freaky. She was like, no one should listen to Rod Gard. And she said that in 2000 and like, wait, I'll find when she said it. Way before that, any of this was released. Thanks, Stephen. Thanks, Darren. And she's done all the spelling wrong as well. Like she actually does in real life. Thank you, Darren. Thanks, Stephen. Woo. Right, you're there. So, let me show you. Are you ready for this? So... TikTok. Give me best that. Wah. Stairs drop. Wah. Chuck, chuck, chuck. Right. Fiona Harvey, she's called. So, this is her Twitter. And on her Twitter, fucking stupid thing. On her Twitter, no, it's not just me saying it as well. Other people are saying it as well. So, she lives in London, but she's from Scotland. And she's called Fiona Harvey. And this is what she looks like. Wait, this is her picture on Twitter. Wait, how can I show you that? I can't even show you it, but anyway. So, she wrote a tweet. Oh, why can I not turn it round? She wrote a tweet. Look, she even took a picture in the fucking pub. And this was years ago. This was on this is on Twitter this. And she wrote a tweet, and I can't even see the fucking tweet because I'm on my fucking iPad, so I can't see the tweet. Wait, let me let me let me find a tweet. Let me go on actual Twitter account. I'll read out the tweets. So it's Fiona Harvey. She's the <gasps> Imagine the amount of people, oh my god, her followers. She's got like 1.2k followers now. So, this is Fiona's bio on Twitter. Love music and dancing, legally qualified for years, Scottish, live in London, love Trump, proud Brexiteer, excellent singer, vote Tory today, please. So... The last time she reposted anything, like on her Twitter, was in 2018. This is her. Look at her. That's her. And she posted that in 2018. So this is her walking around London, all the pictures. Um, Look at her. Oh my God, that is fucking her. That is her. That is fucking her. The resemblance is fucking mad. I'm telling you now, that is fucking her. She's put get some sun. Um. Oh my god. Yeah, exactly. Wait, 
where let, let, let me find the weirdest part so she talked a lot about like the people high up didn't she like she worked with them and shit like that what's that she worked with them and stuff like that she always talking about like brexit and stuff like that she's put that on as well jerry carbon camden town lovely today that's where the pub was in camden town um one sec she, she keeps putting on fucking camden town politics again she's putting up stuff about politics which she also spoke about another politics um one sec do you remember when she was do you remember when shannon stop it because we found the fucking real martha we found the real martha do you remember when she was typing her emails to him she always be like ha space ha space ha so it's like ha 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 look at that Look at that, what she's wrote. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Stop it. And then, let me find the one where she's actually in the pub. This is fucked, this. This is all 2018 actually mad and money on episode honestly your head will fall off like your head's gonna fall off because do you know that the guy in that the re the guy who's acting it's actually about him she's got facebook but glad they done it as men get stalked too yeah but that's the real guy like that actually happened to him he's having to relive that to just make this program to show people thanks eddie um he's so fucked in her That is definitely her, the way she's writing. Wait, I'm trying to find the one where she's in the pub. Because she's took a picture and she's put it on. And she's spelling. She's spelling, like, all her words, like, fucked up. You know what she does in her, um... Look at this. Look at the way she's typed. Look at the way she's put English at the end. Eggalish, eggalish. I have. Do you know what I mean? Look at those words that like, she's spelling stuff. It's exactly how she does it on the film. And this is all in 2018. It's not like someone's made a profile and thought, hey, I'm going to take the piss and pretend I'm Martha. This is fucking Martha. And people said she's racist as well. Reading these, these are a bit racist as well, what she wrote right in here. I know, I don't know whether she's just said she was a lawyer because she's proper into, like, all the politics and shit. Um, I'm trying to find it. Right, look, look. That's the pub. I think that's the pub. I think that's the pub. Because it served food, if you remember. He was walking around with a burger. And that's got a food member. And that looks like the pub pub on the fucking film on the series can you see that's the pub <gasps> and that was in 2018 and she's put they've got 5,000 cases and no one to deal with them because all the lawyers hate them that's what she's put and then she's put another picture on of that pub again so they filmed in the actual pub as well i think so she's put up another one saying that crazy l man mp was on telly saying labor had 80 whatever whether it's cases crap they've got five thousand. she keeps putting up the same picture with different wow she's going mad she's talking about jews and everything like loads of mad shit who's that um thank you matt thank you ben thanks guys
Um, this is crazy. Like, the fact that this this is definitely her. This is definitely Martha. Thank you, well, Pavin. Um, I'm trying to find the one where she's put about... Um, What's his face? She actually wrote a tweet about Richard saying no one should listen to what Richard and someone else says. Blah, blah, blah. She's put, I take these calls because pals in Scotland and America don't believe it till they hear it. <gasps> what did she do? She taped him and she's wrote a fucking tweet. 24th of the 4th, 2018, I tape these calls because pals in Scotland and America don't believe it till they hear it. So she's known for recording shit. Oh my God. This is mad. Oh my God, this is so worse. Uh, she's like... She must be getting tons of messages of people now how the tables are signed. I know, but do you know what people are saying? Because he wanted to hide her identity. Like, he didn't want people knowing who she was. Uh, because, obviously, it might spark something. But he, he wanted it to be as realistic as it could. But without mentioning her name and to bring awareness. But now people have found who that guy is who heard him. Who she is. Who is basically stalking him. She might come back now thank you bill she's proper kicking off on here like she's writing how she would write she's getting dead angry thank you sue bill big up bill big up bill thank you bill um she's writing so much about tories thanks alex oh no that that that's loser that no he doesn't say thanks to loser i don't know they come on the phone i don't know what's causing this oh my god this is so bad This is crazy, eh? Like... Thank you, Marissa's. Thank you. Oh yeah, I forgot I made a tea. This is a sleep tea. This is... I don't know which one this is, but I know it's a sleep tea. Thank you, Marissa. What a look for a face, we can everything. It's this like fucking, do you remember that gypsy finger when that happened? This is crazy. Lime, pineapple, juice, mint, leaf, ice. So she remember she never drank alcohol, did she? You find her Instagram. Stop it. Does she still post on it? No, because the last time she posted on this was 2018, so it's not been recent. I've been putting beef tallow on my face, so my face is quite shiny. And then today I put avocado oil on my skin as well. So I sleep, I put beef tallow on, and then when I wake up, I put avocado oil on. I just need to sort these discoloration out when my eyes water my eyes just water all the time thank you Arthur big up Arthur thanks Arthur yeah my, my eyes water all the time um I'm trying to find this the tweet that she wrote about um Sponsors 
This is crazy. She goes round that taking pictures of like vandalism and shit. Camden Kilburn. This is scary. Oh, my iPad's died. Fuck, I went all the way down a fucking thing as well. Oh, I went way down, like, do you know on her fucking Twitter? I'm stalking, aren't I? Everyone's stalking, aren't I? I'm gonna look at her Facebook as well and her IG. Oh, she's fancy. Is she fancy? Is she fancy? <laughs> Can't believe I actually found the actual woman.
Restriction. Right, let's. No, my dog went. Invisible restriction. In uh, Godly's mouth, pals with bitter experiences of both, both nuts. That is her. That is 100% her. That is 100% her. Thank you, Davinio. So, Janie Godley, who's that? I don't know who Janie Godley is. Also, if you type in Fiona Harvey, thank you, Kenny, and thank you, Davinio. If you type in Fiona Harvey into Google, it comes up and says, Fiona was stalking an MP and accused him of abusing his disabled child. That was on the show as well, about Martha. Thanks, MD. Thank you. So, that is very coincidental as well, isn't it? That is so weird. So it says, if you look up Fiona Harvey Stalker, there's an article from 2004 about an MP with a disabled son who was stalked by Fiona Harvey. It's her. Someone's put, who's Janie Godley? A Scottish comic, Scottish comedian. What's her relation to Baby Reindeer? None, but she's Scottish comic, so is Richard Gad. Thank you, MD. So, um, type on her profile, Diet Coke. <gasps> type on her profile, Diet Coke. Curtains, Richard Gad, how do you type on someone's boy's profile? No way, that's mad power of social media, they found her. Also, the pub is the Harley Arms in Camden. Fiona Harvey 2014 tweeted and apologised to Richard that she had always been to the Harleys. Ian, could you ask Gad to reply to my email? Should be always well. He said he would and forgot to need urgent meeting. That's what she's put. She tweeted multiple times about Diet Coke. That's scary, that. Wait, let me go back on her Twitter. And type in Diet Coke, because she was obsessed with Diet Coke, wasn't she? Right. Oh, she's got two Twitters. Wait, she's got another Twitter, I think. She's got another one called Fiona Harvey 2014. Fiona Harvey. Ain't no way we found her. <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Why are you wearing brown socks? The black, but oh my god, guys. Oh my god. She's wrote a tweet saying, my. She's tagged, this is in 2014. Mr. Richard Gad, my curtains need hung badly. Oh my god. <gasps> what the fuck? Stop it. She was obsessed with having her curtains. And then she's put, I agree, the Janie Godleys and Richard Gads of this world like to claim to be erd and bitch online, real others. I know the story well. What? Not to mention the legal restraining order they had to take out against Fiona Harvey, a former employee of Laura's who stalked her. Harvey even called in social... Thank you. Harvey even called in social workers claiming Frankie was being ill-treated. Laura rolls her eyes when she reminded of the exhausting roller coaster of it all. She said, Sometimes it has felt like being at the centre of cheap soap opera. 
There certainly hasn't been a dull moment, but Laura has no time for dramas looking after Frankie swallows up. What the heck? I'm confused. So the last tweet she wrote was in 2016. The red rags at the red rack rag sorry about this Peter. I've reported it to Twitter, not sure how to untag from this phone. Can unfollow. Oh my god. I'm shutting down this account, not prepared to put up with the abuse from CMP Cybernats. Oh my god. Can't believe she's been found. We are putting check in your poo and talking about it in this spotlight. The wind, no words. This week on the rave. Oh my god. I'm 51 at the end of the month. My toy boy's 26. I'm off. Nippy wouldn't approve. Off to a concert. Oh, oh my God. Nippy. Nippy wouldn't approve. Someone's put this has got to be her in the show. She called him Nipple. And he was 26 in 2016. Sent from my iPhone. That is definitely her. Please, Queen, I need to know you said. Oh, damn, Twitter already got the real name. Sent from my phone, everyone's taking piss now. Nippy has pissed off every Scot of our generation wouldn't look at the road she's on. She always used to call him Nippy, didn't she? Oh my god, guys. We've got the real woman. Not tarts. With a world first peptide technology, save ten pounds on number seven future renew. Dinky to work for yourself, Dad. It's important that you look after your eyes. That's why the new advanced eye test at Vision Express not only tests your eyesight, it checks your eye health too. It includes. I'm actually baffled. Thank you, Kenny. Thank you, Andres. I'm actually baffled that, like, People find our account, man.
And she showed a post saying, Grandma of 71 marries a 17-year-old three weeks after meeting him at her son's funeral. So that she's retweeted that. So that's like, she was old. Like she was like 50 something and he was only 26. So like, she wants that, she wants that, do you know what I mean? She wants young boys. As if she asked him to hang the curtains. He asked Gad to post my email, should be obliged. He said he would and forgot. There's more direct mentions of Gad. Sound familiar? Mr. Richard Gadd. Wait, go back on that other account. Mr. Richard Gadd. Oh my god, she's brought loads of sweets about it. My curtains need hung badly. Please go and see Richard Shaw. Did you get my emails? Sorry, my email in the wrong address. Thanks. You can let me know. Oh my god. And then she's tagging him in loads of like tweets with kisses. Spoke to Craig Friday. He gave me different version of what we spoke about two Saturday ago. I'm upset. Why don't you follow? I can't work this account very well, so I don't know who is following and who not. I know I have a lovely new cooker. One thing done. Mr. Richard Gard have made up with doing what which should make you happy. I'm off now, but we'll be on phone later. Mr. Richard Gard, you can't spell. It's good up. Mr. Richard Gard, one of these cafe places, has just gone on fire in Camden near the... Castle Haven Road, we know it was you, hope you are well. What? Mr Richard Gard, haven't had a chance to talk to Craig. We'll try and do so next week in the internet, please do call me. Mr Richard Gard, if the Labour Party hadn't puckled. My God, she's tagged him in so many tweets. What the fuck? Mr Richard Gard, your tweets she me up. I've not been able to get into the only past three Saturday is your time as well. Mr. Richard Card, Tommy Sheridan, and I reckon 60% yes for. No, you will all copy voting yes. Mr. Richard Card, you probably heard Jimmy's version of events. Oh my god. Call me urgently anyway, whether or not you have a letter. Thanks, I've just been locked out of my Twitter. All I can say is I thought Scott's would have done more. Very sad to hear of Rick. Did you get my recorded delivery letter sent to the theatre? Sent it to a rap and called it under. What the fuck? Why is she so obsessed with this guy, man? What is wrong with this girl?
devil too, uh, you know, because that's, uh, that's why God's there. He's, uh, he's, he's minding a fence, making sure that guy never comes back. Every time I put moisturizer or oil on my face, everything just sticks to me. Everybody likes to feel you. And it itches. Why does she call you Donnie? Oh, she, she calls me lots of things. Um, if you were a bit like me, and you were like, okay, so who would... I like the way you can see. I can know you miss me. I can tell you the kiss. So you could get attached. I like the way you miss me. I can tell you this me. I can tell you this, this, this. I hate it. So, get a tat. It's a jumpsuit. and scenes that some viewers may find offensive on ITV. There's never a dull moment with this lot. It's my and Dad. Post. Uh, thank you, just a grunt. I love that name. Um, no, I haven't heard that. But he was blatantly open about uh, working his way through Vauxhall. Well, I'm just saying. Hey, Matt. I'm just still reading up about this baby reindeer. Because I'm still baffled. Like, I'm still baffled. You know, he was working his way through the scene. Uh, to try and figure out his sexuality, and I'm sure he was probably yeah, women out and no, I'm stalking her. He may, he may have been. I, I don't know what you're talking about, but there may have been some roughhousing involved. But this, this tends to happen when someone's um, been abused, especially in the man. So for me, I'm still kind of like. Richard Gash because what he's done is, is so interesting because he's uh, when you when you when you whistleblow like about the industry you tend to be blackballed from the industry but he's literally so she's an actress and she was going for the role of his ex-girlfriend in the Netflix series and he wanted to date her power dynamic is off hurt people hurt people hurt as well for letting him run this story as well because simultaneously
he showed his talent, which will allow him to get more work, is kind of low-key exposed somebody, well, high-key now, is, you know, he's exposing somebody, and, and whilst not being blackballed, you know, so usually when somebody talks about somebody, you know, their career's done, so shout out to Netflix for that. So I think just as a culture, storytelling, TV nerd, I find that in itself interesting, but... Who's got Iris Reynaldo against him? Wouldn't surprise me if there are some trans girls that are like, he, he was super bad to me, you know, like, and he wasn't, he didn't, it's not like he didn't show that, he was blatant. Fiona, I don't know, Fiona. What, what she's got one against him? Fuck. I'm sure there were some women that felt a little bit like I'm saying trans women, but I'm sure there was some. Not going to use the word cis, sorry. I'm, I'm sure there's women who actually have periods who um, who felt a way about how he was treating them because it, he, that he had that montage where he was just smashing, and, and there was a scene where he was being topped as well. So like he was clearly just working his way through so yeah Sean Fuller. <gasps> there he is. It's weird how people are not commenting on his shit though. Very weird. from Netflix's Baby Ray India. In the Netflix series, Martha is a lawyer who becomes obsessed with Donnie. However, Donnie. If she was uh, on Facebook 20 minutes ago.
That is mad. Thank you, Below. Thanks, Kirk. She posted one saying, my last day at Cork. Oh my God, thank you, Kirk. So someone's just said that, so someone's put, it made me really sad at the end when she explained the war baby rain, reindeer meaning. And someone put, it was her getaway from her childhood trauma. Her parents constantly arguing so she would cuddle the reindeer that he gave her comfort. She said it looked like him. So someone's put, the ending came full circle because then he was at the bar crying and feeling someone's kindness. I can't remember that part. So, did someone come over to him at the bar like he did with her and offer her him a drink? Like did like he did with her? I don't remember that part. I don't remember this part about her telling the reason why the reindeer represented because I know I'm gonna have to watch it again because I'm fucking. I didn't see that part where she talked about the reason why. Because she calls her in reindeer because of fucking shared teddy bear. She's good actor though, isn't she? Every day now, Martha would be outside. This ticking time bomb on my life. 
I would leave first thing in the morning, and she would be there. I love you, nipple. Think of me. I love you, nipple. Stop. Be at work today. Then I would come back, sometimes as late as 11 or 12 at night, and she would still be there. I was your shift, reindeer. Did you think of me? I never understood what she got from it. She never approached me. She never came to the house again. She avoided Liz whenever she passed. It was all cat calls and snatch glimpses. She devoted 15, 16 hour days to a fleeting encounter. That was a joke, funny bones. Make me smile. But soon, as time wore on and the temperature dropped, I noticed a change in Martha as she descended into this staring. Martha, are you okay? Fiona, are you okay? This is the part. I don't I remember I this. Lately, when they fought. And they fought a lot, you know. Happier, you, you are the spit of that reindeer. The same nose. Same eyes. Same cute wee mum. It means so much to me. I don't even remember that scene. Can I get you something? No thanks. Are you sure? A cup of tea? No thanks. You have to buy something. Can't afford something. Right, right, a cup of tea. How about I give you a cup of tea on the house? That's fuck right in there. What? Like, he literally offered her a cup of tea on the house. And look what happened. The real Martha from Baby Reindeer. Is this video his real life? I think so. It's apparently, it isn't apparently the breakdown didn't happen. Did he say Freddy? Freddy. Thank you, Fuckhead. If I knew it all then, would I do it again? Would I do it again? to do this uh, shoot at the, uh, the the club bar in the assembly gardens uh, but just as you were away to ask the first question uh, a fire alarm went off uh, which i think was probably symbolic of our, our universe sending me
Uh, did I not watch the last episode or something of fucking Reindeer? Because what's everyone on about? I feel like I've missed an episode. What the fuck? I've not seen this. So I've missed a whole episode. What the fuck? What? I've missed a whole episode, guys. Stop it. I haven't even fucking watched the thing properly. The audience member recorded me on the slide and uploaded the video to YouTube and it went by. You missed episode seven. <laughs> I did. So I've watched, I missed, what the fuck? This is why I've not understood anything. Right guys, I'm gonna watch episode seven now. My head's fell off. Viral. In a matter of weeks, I went from a walking ghost to the center of a media store. It was so overwhelming that I almost didn't notice that Martha had stopped emailing. Too distracted by all the new work opportunities to take notice. I mean, it was like something took over and I, I just started coming out. Podcasts, radio shows, bigger gigs, better crowds. Everyone suddenly wanted a piece of me, and my career sprung into surprising action. I honestly couldn't believe it was all happening. For the first time in my life, I really felt like I was going to... Thank you to inspire. Please welcome to the stage, Donnie Dunn! And there is nothing like your life going so visibly well to let your sexual abuser know, fuck you, you failed to break me. Ah, oh, thank you very much. Now... For those of you that have seen the viral video, don't worry. I'm not going to go into all that again. Although there is a guy in the front row here looking at me a bit funny. Is it possible to get a DBS check on this guy, please? I couldn't keep up with it all. Everything that was happening. It was like my life began three decades in. And all I needed to do to achieve it was to be honest with myself. I was going somewhere. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Donnie Dunn! <laughs> And there is nothing like your life going so visibly well to let your sexual abuser know, fuck you, you failed Thank you, Kay. Uh, thank Thanks, you Kay. Much. Now, for those of you that have seen the viral thank video, you. don't worry, I'm not going to go into all that again. Although there is a guy in the front row here looking at me a bit funny. Is it possible to get a DBS check on this guy, please? I couldn't keep up with it all. Everything that was happening. It was like my life began three decades in. And all I needed to do to achieve it was to be honest with myself. It's funny how things work out. And sometimes I would find myself in the free fall of happiness. I wonder what it was in me that kept it in for so long. What it was in me that felt so afraid. Hello? I know I wasn't going to speak to you ever again, but I've just been putting down the basics regarding what you said on stage. So do your parents know about all that in the video, yeah? The shirt lifting of the guy's cock, half hanging out of you. I mean, should I tell them? Probably fair to know their son's an ugly little bum boy. It's the least you deserve for all those things you said about me. I cannot express how furious I am about the way you shafted me. And just like that, at the worst possible time during the most important moment of my professional life, Martha got my number. How the oh, fuck did I ever get my number? Sent from my iPhone. She loves that in it. Sent from my iPhone. confused because he's saying he, he's scared of Martha telling his family that that guy heard him but in the stand up on the YouTube he spoke about being heard so how would they not know already anyway 
Do you know what I mean? I had to get to my parents before she did. Look, I, um... I don't know whether you've seen this video of me that's been going around online. Oh, they might have not seen the video. No, but I'm not on social media anymore. And your dad... Isn't a fucking moron. It's this video where I, uh, I confess a lot of things. I just, I just feel very confused. And, um, I, I don't really know anything anymore, but I'm trying to, you know, like, get through it. I don't think I'm, I'm straight anymore. Like what, well, um, I think I'm probably, like, Bisexual, maybe it's a journey. Anyway, but it's it's one that I, I I need to go on with your support. Is these past few years have been really difficult, and I think I have a choice now between a between a, a bi son or a or a gay son, whatever I become, or a dead one because I can't handle it anymore. <laughs> Keep it in. If you're given us a choice like that, then there's no question which one we're going to go for. Just, please, just let me finish. And I sort of speak about other things in the video, too. I was, um, I was raped by a man. Oh, I'm fine. I spoke about it in this online video and now everyone knows. I just feel so fucking embarrassed. And I guess I never wanted you to know because I didn't want you to think less of me. You know. As much. Oh, Tony, of course, sweetheart. Oh, that's so sad. You're our son, whatever happens. I just feel less of one. Never let something like that happen to me. But you didn't let it happen. You weren't to blame. You see me as less of one. What? Well, you see me as less of a man. Uh, well, no. Oh. I grew up in the Catholic Church. That's what, what he's saying there is to do with the priest. <laughs> Happens a lot. Thank you, Mark. Happens a lot, doesn't it? Thank you. It happens a lot, doesn't it? In Catholic churches with the priests. I was some baby yesterday in the sun. I can't open these. No, it wasn't twenty not twelve degrees. I got tan lines on my, my stomach and shit. On my chest. It wasn't twelve degrees. It was fifteen, sixteen. It was well up. Was that I think it went up to like nineteen, didn't it? And then obviously it cooled down after a bit, but I was sat in it for ages, it was boiling. Toby was sunbathing as well. For that one day. Being serious, I just get out me and sun. I love the sun. I just lie in it. No matter what degree it is. Oh my god, I can't get in this bag. It's really frustrating me. I'm trying not to wake Toby up because he loves these, but he can't have them. That's just shit himself.
I like the way you kiss me. I can hear you miss me. Bleeding? I keep bleeding. Looks sick. I don't know why I'm blowing it. I was not going to do anything. Well done. What do you mean? Well done. No, no. I love these ones because they're just normal. They're not salted. Yeah, that one is salted. Did after a few, they get a bit too much. You know what I mean? The day these are, yeah, good sauce protein and omega three fatty acids. Um, good fat. It's got good fat in it. Protein as well. It's got twenty point five grams of protein. Also, I was gonna get the cashew nuts. They're not cashew nuts. These are cashew nuts. Do you know you can get pistachios, but you can get them not in a shell. Right, the bag was smaller than that. Eight pound. I was like, goodbye. I'm not paying eight pound. I love pistachios. Nuts are well, dear. They're so good for you. Anything that's good for you. Anything that's good for you is dear. Anything that's bad for you is cheap. A lot of people feed the kids shit, don't they, all the time? Because it's cheap. Like frozen, like, don't get me wrong, like, I know people have frozen food and stuff like that, but. Like, you're not chicken nuggets and chips and smiley faces, but they can't have that all the time. But they just buy what they can afford, so. Cause it's so dear. And then the kids will not eat anything else, like they won't eat like veg and stuff, and it's like, why not? And it's because they've been brought up eating. Yeah, but if you think about it, George, people just do it as a quick food, don't they? I stick it in the oven. Instead of proper meals, like, I make them. Not proper. That's what I mean. Like you've got to make sure when you're making your dish, you've got your protein, your carb, and that it's nutritional. Yeah, some people can't cook. Do you know what I mean? Some people got families and they can't cook, so they'll make like. Nuggets and chips and beans or oh, beans on toast. I oh, don't get me wrong, I have beans on toast, like it's a snack or something, but I cook my meals, uh, proper meals. I guess as well, some people got it hard with kids because they just, you know what I mean, they just want to get it done and over with. Right, crisps. If you think, make a good school. Well, when we went to school, we'd be having that sandwiches, yogurt, crisp, um, maybe a chocolate bar and a piece of fruit every day. Like, if I've not got any sourdough bread, if I've not got any sourdough bread, my leg was itching, if I've not got any sourdough bread, then I will use the white bread, but if not, I'll use my sourdough bread. But, like, I've seen some, like, kids will bring, like, pasta pots. You know, where the mum's made some pasta and put it in a pot and it's kept warm. Or whatever. But, it's mad, isn't it? Like, sandwiches, like, every day and, like, crisps and stuff like that. Like. Mm -mm. But you, you have to be careful with, like, nuts because there's always a kid in school 
she's allergic to nuts so then the, no one in school is allowed to bring nuts in because it can be a risk of someone um having a fit or whatever or they can die it's mad isn't it it's dead dangerous like that's why if you're on the plane as well you're not allowed to eat um anything that's nuts or whatever because let's say if you touch something and they touch it or the uh i don't know what it is it could be anything fucking someone can just be set off because they're not allergy i don't understand To his dad as well. So oh. oh, he went to give his dad his hand, but shake it, and his dad was like, "No, I'm giving you a fucking hug, mate." That's his baby. That will always be his baby, no matter how old he gets. Oh, it's so sad. It made me want to cry. That's all he, that, that's what he needs. I slept 12 hours that night. I woke up to a new dawn. Oh, but he feels so much better now. Somehow, amazed even by the sudden peace I found within myself. I spent the next few days in Scotland with my phone off enjoying the quiet. I told my parents everything. Terry, Martha, Darian. I hadn't felt so at ease in all my life. There was no need to be afraid anymore. There was never any need. And by the time I boarded the train back down, I really felt like there was nothing in my way. Nothing, of course, apart from Martha. <laughs> He's done. Hey, funny parents and grandparents. Good luck with the transaction. <laughs> you just shouted that on the platform. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've about 10 hundred missed calls from Martha. Oh, for fuck's sake. Welcome to your voicemail. You have 15 new messages. First new message. I don't know why. What's happened with Chelsea? You stood there like a fucking guppy. Wasn't that bitch right under my nose? Your cock practically in her. And you're expecting me to do what? Martha's like, Papa, like, Bring Racist and like set like whole performer, can't you? No, you can't, but obviously with unknown numbers, it's very difficult to prove who it is it's actually calling. So what you're saying is I can call anyone I meet as many times as I want. And as long as I withhold my number, I'm free to do as I please. You're not planning to, are you? No, I'm not planning to. I'm making a point this behaviour shouldn't be allowed. How'd she get your number anyway? She'd stopped emailing, so I sent him out of office and he must have reply to her it's got her giving it away so easily after managing to keep it from her for so long why is that helpful uh what, what, what about her phone number have you tried blocking that of course i've tried but you can't block unknown numbers on a smartphone you should know this i mean can't you just go into the back there and listen to all the voicemails she's been leaving we can't listen to that many voicemails, I'm afraid. We simply don't have the resources. Oh, my God. So what? I just changed my number and let her win again. Well, there is another option. <clears throat> now, I need to speak off the record here, but it might make sense to keep your number. 
I wait for her to say something that we can use to expedite this case. You're serious? Merely a suggestion. Go on. Mark down moments where she says something threatening. She's leaving you numerous voicemails a day. Chances are there'll be something there we can use. First, new message. And I'm going to be quite frank with you. Now. Over the next few months, Martha's voicemails became the podcast of my life. I listened to her on every bus ride, every tube journey, in the street between meetings. She was there in my ears all the time. Don't forget what I also said to you about confidentiality. Her voicemails playing out this retrospective of our entire relationship together. When you said about hanging the curtains and all that, I assumed you had the one night stand in mind. She remembered everything with such lucidity. Do you remember that gig we performed at back in the day? The one about the women? chats, the laughter, <laughs> the false promises. I'm shocked that you did something like that. Sometimes I couldn't believe the meaning she would glean from the most implausible of places. <laughs> you surrendered to me that day, didn't you? I started to download them, log and categorize them, color code them into different emotions and subjects. All this fame means fuck all. They don't love you. They'll grow bored. I love you. Yeah? It became an obsession. I ignored work calls, canceled gigs and interviews, devoted my life to unpacking the mystery of Martha, why she was the way that she was. I'm not sure I ever got close to finding the answer. So you've got psychiatric problems, darling. Even for you. In fact, over time, I found myself relating to her all over again. Our shared insecurities, our fears for the future. The same things at night which kept us from our sleep. London's full of charlatans, backstabbers, and liars. The way she managed to distract me from all the things that I'd lost. Thanks, Doggy. She threatened me many times. <laughs> said stuff that was violent or phobic. Is it abuse for little boys and their piano teachers? <laughs> About me or Terry or the abuse, but still I found myself ignoring it. Is anything new come up your side that we should know about? No. Holding off reporting her out of fascination or empathy or guilt, any excuse really, to keep her in my life. And sometimes in my darkest hours, as I lay awake at night listening to just how much she was suffering. I get heavy at night. I sometimes feel so angry, you know? Angry at the world, what it's taken from me. I did have to fight every fiber of my being, not to call her back. So when I did eventually report her, I only did it because she started on my family. I only did it because it felt like a risk I couldn't take any longer. New message. So you and your family, you keep your trap shut, yeah? You're on your final warning. I fucking mean it this time. Because I've got a raging PMT where I can just about stab anyone in England, in Britain. So you better watch what you're saying. Because maybe one day, I will stab someone. Martha was arrested the next day and charged with three counts of stalking and harassment. And by the time a date was set for her plea hearing, I really couldn't tell whether it was putting an end to her fascination or mine. <laughs> Got a face. Seated. Stand up, Miss Scott. You are charged with the harassment of Mr. Donald Thanks, Dunn Tuffy. between the dates of the 14th of August 2015 and the 22nd of March 2017. Are you guilty or not guilty? charged with the stalking of Mr. Donald Dunn between the dates of the 14th of August 2015 and the 22nd of March 2017. Are you guilty or not guilty? Guilty. <laughs> you were charged with the harassment of Gerald Dunn and Eleanor Dunn between the dates of the 6th of June 2016 and the 22nd of March 2017. Are you guilty or not guilty? Guilty. Thank you, Dougie. <laughs> that little reindeer. That little reindeer. Miss Scott, you have pled guilty. I will ask the CPS to prepare a free sentencing report and you will remain in custody until then. All right.
Arthur was sentenced to nine months in prison, and a five-year restraining order was issued that same day. And there, in that courtroom, was the last time I ever set eyes on her. You missed all of it as well. I missed the whole fucking episode. So my mind food. Thank you. Hi. Francis called. It's pretty concerned about you. He says you've barely come in for three weeks. Can I come in? Yeah. Oh my god, I got that on the wall. Oh, it's uh smarter stuff. I thought she'd been sent. He wants to know why she's like that, isn't it? Thank you. She has. I'm still trying to make sense. How's that going? Thanks, Scott. Getting closer. Yeah, you'd hope so, looking at all this. Yeah, it's crazy. I still have all the voicemails from when I downloaded them for the police. See, I've split them into all these folders, capturing all the different emotions. I've been doing it for weeks now, and there's still a ton I haven't listened to yet. It's funny, because when you see them all splayed out like this, you really do get a sense of just how mad she was. Uh, do you want to sit down or something? Yeah. He look awful. Feel awesome. How's the uh, comedy going? Uh, keep it up. There's nothing like. I want you to move back to my mum's place. Sort yourself out a bit. I can't. I've signed a lease here. No, I'll pay for it. Just move back. I can't have you go on living like this. Having gone through all of that. That video, Donnie, it really upset me. I forgot to say, I left a little something for you in the cupboard, along with a couple of bits and bobs I found while I was clearing out your room. Oh, thanks.
was wondering if I could come in. So what? They were just high all the time. Oh, my God. I've never seen two people consume drugs like them. <laughs> Private school boys, too. I mean, the amount of times I've got people shagging in my bed was insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why has he gone back to us? We've just done that. Where have you been? Oh, you know, here and there. I'm sorry I disappeared. No. You should come back and work with me. What the fuck? Uh, I'm so confused. He's just said to him, I seen your video by the way. It was really brave of you, really brave. And then he said you should come back work with me again. It's about fucking him, so I don't get it. I'm so confused. So, so confused. What the fuck? Why is he just... I'm so confused. You go back to him, and that guy said he's seen the video and it's very brave. And now he's gonna work with him. I don't get it. I don't get it. So. He made that video, didn't he? And someone put it on YouTube. And then he's just gone round to that man's house who heard him, which he spoke about on stage. And the man who heard him said, I've seen your video, by the way. Very, thank you, Mas Mystic. I've seen your video, by the way. Very, very brave, very, very brave. Just come up with me again. And he went, I would love to. I don't get it. I'm gonna... And there was this other time in the bar when you were serving and you tight white so I thought red red is your colour and then the next day you were wearing red I think you've got a great jawline I love the smile you know I think you're you know very attractive you know when you meet someone sometimes you just think they have it and you have it I don't know maybe it's your turn of phrase I don't get it. Hi, uh, yeah, I'll have a, a vodka coke, please. 
things have a double thanks. That's the thing I've always wondered, really. Why people meet. Why people fall in love. That kind of thing. And I suppose that brings me to the baby reindeer thing. As I think you're probably wondering. Basically, I had this wee cuddly toy when I was young. Went with me everywhere. Earliest memory I have, I think, was Christmas time. This old photo of me. Sitting with this paper hat on my head. And this baby reindeer beside me. Anyway, this reindeer was this cuddly, fluffy thing. Had big lips, huge eyes, and the cutest wee bump. I still have it to this day. It was the only good thing about my childhood. I'd hug it when they fought. And they fought a lot, you know? Well, you are the spit of that reindeer. The same nose, same eyes, same cute wee mum. It means so much to me. You. You mean so much to me. I know. It's like...
So yeah, what I was saying was, it does make you feel sorry for her because if you think about it, like, it's that trauma in it. Like, if you think, I think everything that you experience in your life makes you as a person, do you know what I mean? And like, can trigger certain stuff. Um, everything relates to, I think like, when you grow up it's so important. Um, what kids witness or what, what happens to them. Do you know what I mean? Like, if she hadn't... Have, it's weird, isn't it? It's, it's a hard one to say. It's a hard one to say. It's like, if she hadn't... Have, but, do you know what people are saying, though? Well, she, she's not. She's obviously mentally unwell. But people are saying... Obviously, they felt sorry for her about the reindeer thing, but then people are saying he's not the only one she stalked, though. She also stalked that MP and lied about him abusing his disabled child. So, it's not just him that she's done this to. Do you get what I mean? You know, with the baby reindeer part, she's relating him to her teddy bear, but he's not the only one that she's done this to. She's done it to... I need to talk about She's done it to other people as well. Do you know what I mean? This is a jumpsuit. I love goats. What? <laughs> what have I got to do with fucking goat? <laughs> Fuck. I can't get my pants up. What have I got to do with goat? Thank you for the rose. Um. Yeah. <laughs> this is so hard. Because it's so tight. What the fuck? But yeah, what, what, what have I got to do with a girl? I can't get it off. Oh my god, that was so bad. Wow. Let me just put this on my feet because it helps me to chillax. Just rub my feet together, put it on my feet and then I'll put it up. A good place to put it is your ankles. I feel like my ankles really help this situation. Why am I bed doing that? Do you know what I mean? You know what? I can do this with one foot. I can do that with one foot like that. So keep all of them down and just have that one up. But I can't seem to do it with this one. My weird. So I've got strength in one. In one fucking. So I've got strength in one. Um, In one, um, what do you call it? In one foot. Don't 
た。My legs just itch as well. <sighs> I like the way you ah. Uh, I like the way you kiss me. I can know you miss me. I can know you miss is is it. Oh, I wish I had sun dried tomatoes or some saccharate. Do you know saccharate? I like saccharate. Sun dried tomatoes. Mmm, cheese and tomato on these would have been good. This is a rash cake. Oh, it feels it feels bad because she's been arrested. Did I just start to eat this in my bed? They taste like, uh, <laughs> they do. They actually do. But do you know when I just have to eat something? I just have to eat something. They're organic. They're lightly salted. I just have to eat something. Like, else I'll end up eating like something was not good. And this is just a rice cake, it's not got any other shit in it. You can put cream cheese on them with like tomatoes. Thank you. What did Jennifer do? What Jennifer did? Jennifer Pan's mother has been murdered. Her father in a coma when he finally wakes up, his evidence changes the course of the investigation. I'm watching. Can we read even, lad? You can't have rice cake. No. Come up, but you can't have rice cake. Um, I'm watching on BBC iPlayer. No, you can't have that. You can't have it. Might fuck your stomach up. So I'll be asking on a special diet now. So like, Burr's is, is before, he could just have anything. Like, we'd, I'd literally just give him anything. Now, he has to have 
No. Over there. You don't sit on the wire. Because then I get paranoid thinking you're going to get electrocuted. Up. You know you sat on... Right, come on. Up. You can't sit there. You sat on the wires. Get up. Right, that's over. You sat on full extension lead. I don't see you sat on. Let's have a look. I can't give you one, lad. I'm sorry. can't give you one, Toby. You just can't because it's not good for you. Yeah, so what I'm watching at the moment is called Blue Lights. Um, and yeah. Where Blue Lights remain. Nine minutes. I don't know if I remember though what actually happened. Kilo one, no movement. They're still inside. Two. Neil. Face doing semi conscious. got Toby some like these drops and you put them in the food or in the water and it's meant to really help him and I'm gonna get him some turkey tail mushroom turkey tail mushroom and put it on his food like the powder on his food Let's sit over there. Go over there. You can't have a ice cake over there. You know I'd give you anything if you could. But you can't, lad. Because it makes shit. You can't afford to be to shit. Because you can't afford to be to lose weight. You can never be too careful. Alright. My baby. Oh, now the iPad's fucking died. For fuck's sake, everything I do just fucks up. Pop him into you, thank you. Give me some in my leg, give me. Alright, come on, up. <laughs> Over there, up. Come on, up. Toby, you can't have them. No. No. I'm sorry, baby. I am a shit say. But. You can't, like, have stuff like this now because. Um, you have to be able to have certain stuff like. So I've done all the research and like, basically, chicken is a warm food, so it's high inflammatory. So like, it doesn't, so say, there's, there's a lot of dogs that are actually allergic to chicken and people don't realise. It's a warm food, it's high inflammatory, whereas if turkey is a cold food, so he has turkey instead of chicken. Um, and then you come to fish, salmon's a warm food, white fish is a cold food. Um, and then rabbits are cold food, so you can have rabbit and that duck. Um, you can know that at all, okay? You can't. And then when I buy him treats, he has to have low fat treats. Never knew dogs could be, yeah. Anyone could be allergic to chicken, like we could be allergic to chicken. It's a high inflammatory food, so promotes cancer and let's like, say say if you've got a disease 
or anything like that, or you've got pancreatitis or anything like that, eating chicken and stuff like that is gonna, it's high inflammatory, it's a warm food, so it's gonna multiply. So think about bacteria, how it multiplies in warmth. It's a warming food, so it inflames the stomach, causing the disease to react more. So you'd go to the toilet, you'd have the shits or whatever, and you'd start losing weight because your body's not taking the nutrients in, because you're just shitting it out. You can't have one, lad. I'm going to get him some... Um, Oh yeah, I've heard of that app, Yucca. I'm gonna get him some um um some turkey tail mushroom. It's fell out of my eyes, he's gone over there. RBS. So with RBS you don't want to eat dairy. And obviously that'd be hard because we all love dairy, we love cheese. Um, but you need to switch like your milk to like, I'd say the best milk you could possibly have is coconut milk. Turkey tail mushroom, what's that? Turkey tail mushroom helps with people who have like cancer or any diseases or anything like that. Um, so if you have like anything like that, you take tur turkey tail, mu tail mushroom, even dogs can have it as well. Obviously, you've got to see how many milligrams they can have a day. Uh, but yeah, with IBS, it's it's more to do with dairy. Ice cream, yogurts. Do you know what I mean? Like, you just need to switch the stuff. Could be do with bread as well, like white bread. Um, so you could switch to that like, sourdough bread. Um, because obviously that... That's flaring up in your stomach. RBS, it relates to a lot of dairy stuff. Milkshakes, milk, like even a cup of tea with cow's milk in it. It's basically a cow. You just allude it to a fucking cow at the end of the day. You allude it to a fucking cow. Cream, anything, you're just, you know what I mean? Um, just switch to coconut milk. I, ha I have kind of broken up this. Because coconut milk is actually so nice as well. Especially if you enjoy having coffee. Like, I don't have coffee, but I put coconut milk in my tea and it makes it really creamy. So, yeah. Coconut milk is a good one for you to have. I don't know. Oh, oh. Where you go? Oh. Yeah, do, do you know what? Just test it. Just don't eat dairy for a week and see how you feel. Also, if you suffer with like eczema or acne or any like parasitosis or whatever them words are, you know where your skin flares up. That's dairy as well. Literally, that is dairy as well. Everything that you ever have wrong with you all relates to your gut. It all relates to your gut. Trust me. Cancer, everything, all diabetes, everything all relate. Like, people will say, yeah, but some people are born with diabetes. Yeah, because if you think about it, so your parents, right, are bound to be eating probably the same food that they was brought up on. So they might have got diabetes from that diet, and then your parents are going to bring you up on the same diet, but... If you think you've come from your mum who's eating that same diet that she got the diabetes from or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's the it's all to do with the diet. So then that would be type 1 diabetes because you've basically been brought, like, you've been eating that whilst you've been in the womb. Is that that same diet. It sounds stupid, but it's fucking true. And then type 2 diabetes is what you develop just in your life from having the wrong diet something what doesn't suit your body um like my grandma she can't have chicken she 
can't have eggs either, so she's obviously allergic to the fucking animal. But yeah, she can have turkey because chicken is a hot food and turkey is a cold food. But I like turkey. I like turkey mince as well. Turkey mince is nice. So if you ever like spag ball or anything or you want to switch the meat up from having beef, try turkey mince. I can't have eggs. Like, get that belly. Yeah, I have um, eggs like every day. What do you mean hot and cold food? So I mean hot as in it's an inflammatory food, it's high inflammatory. Chicken is a high inflammatory food. So it's a hot food, so if you have a disease, like pancreatitis, cancer or anything like that, or you suffer with, I don't know, like stomach issues or whatever, it's going to multiply because it's a high inflammatory food, so it's a warm food. Warmth multiplies, it's like bacteria. It multiplies, like it irritates the stomach because it's hot. And then turkey is a cold food, so like turkey, duck, white fish, they're all cold foods. Whereas if salmon, chicken, I think lamb and goat, I think they're warm as well. You want good bacteria exactly which would be cold foods i think i'm gonna switch to just eating turkey because sometimes i fancy eating chicken but I might just fuck the chicken off, just eat turkey. Do you know what I mean? If you get turkey steak, season it, wrap it in tin foil, put it in the oven, 30 minutes. When you take it out, turkey steak, it's juicy. All the juices coming off it. You should always wrap it in tin foil. Because if you do, you don't wrap it in tin foil, it's gonna be dry as fuck. Mm 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 mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Rice cake. I don't wrong, I enjoy stuff I love, like Chinese and stuff like that. But I don't really have meat from Chinese, except from chicken and sweet corn soup. So I have like black bean sauce with like mama, all my vegetables, like mushrooms and baby corn and shit, egg fried rice, vegetable spring rolls, chicken sweet corn soup, and salt pepper chips. Mm. But yeah, we are what we eat. We are what we eat, and we'll like some of us suffer with certain stuff and then we take medication because you think about it like our health is the wealth you get what i mean so if we're not if we're sick that's their money if we're healthy how are they going to make money our well our health is their wealth Hundred percent. Thanks, Kenny. Can never be too careful. Whoa, uh, uh, I love mushrooms as well. Thank you, Jory. Thanks, Jory. Oh, I've got a gift light. Little, yeah. Congratulations, Joey lit, lit up the rose. Oh, thank you. So basically, if you go to, when you go to my name, you can go to my gift gallery. 
and you can go to the rose and it'll say Joey's name because he sent the rose. So on my gift gallery, whoever completes the goal the most, their name goes in my gift gallery. I didn't even know I had this gift gallery until I seen the thing the other day light up. Like the car. Can at least tell me what you're doing? Thank you, George. Thank you, George. Dublin Ridge. Car numbers. Big up, George. Thank you, George. They're all owned by a garage in North Inner City, Dublin. So? The garage is the front for a criminal gang called the Gimleys. Drug operations all over Europe, and nobody's seen them up here in the north until now. What's that got to do with us? Leave that to others to deal with. People have been saying that to me for the last 30 years. To be honest with you, oh, I'm getting a wee bit fed up with it. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Thanks, Kenny. It's got a little, like, piece of fruit on it. So it's got an orange, a kiwi. No, that's a flower. <laughs> um, another orange. I'm sure it's got a kiwi on it somewhere. That's a strawberry. That's grapes. No, oh, that's a flower. That's the thingy eye. I don't even like wearing that. I don't know why I'm wearing that. Um, I think that's an apple. Or cherry. And then... Oh, what is that? That's a strawberry. No, I didn't make it, but it's cute, isn't it? I like, I wear, every time it's summer, well, it's getting warmer, I wear this all the time. I'm gonna get some more. They're cute, aren't they? I should get the little bracelets as well. And the ones what around your tummy. You sit there if you want. Then I've got lion Keep your wits about you. on my um, Sharp eyes save lives. top. I'm gonna get my roots done on Thursday, guys. So I'm gonna be blonde again. I'm gonna be blonde, guys. Shit. I'm gonna be blind. Kilo on no movement. They're still inside. Blind. Two lookouts on the exterior. Yeah, jungle book. Over. Received, Kilo one. I like the way you kiss me. Yeah, jungle book t shirt. Thanks, Joey. Big up, Joey. <sighs> Means no worries for the rest of your day. We're going out of time. We're going out of time. Oh yeah, Lankin as well. Ah, Sabina, your favorite. Thank you. Thank you for the roses. Thank you. I'm watching Blue Lights on BBC. It's good. Thank you, your favorite.
Kilo One, we have visual on Vehicle One exiting the garage. Over. Roger that, Kilo One. Thank you, your favourite for friendship. Hi, Rich. No face, no kiss. Kilo One, visual re-established. Over. Receive, Kilo One. Stand by. Whenever it is you feel like stepping up, Mom. Well, we can talk about that next time. Yeah. Who will? Thank you, Joey. Right. Let's get the fuck What have you done? There's no need to run. If you've done nothing wrong. Mm, thanks, Joey. Thanks, your favorite. Do you know what happened? So, look, I got my camera a new tablet. I had to reset a password, so I had to do it on my phone. Somehow it ended somebody in my Facebook. So I wasn't, I couldn't get my Facebook because it was signed on my grandma's tablet. Is it about police, that blue lights? Yeah, it's good. It's like drug gangs and shit and police and stuff. Thank you, Polo. Thank you, your you favourite. We have uniform in theatre. Repeat, you. we have uniform in theatre. Yeah. Because I had to reset my grandma's password, so I think my grandma was on my Facebook. And thought it was hers, and I think she was going to write a status. <laughs> Stop it. What? Thank you, Paula. Okay, fellas. Take a beat. Everybody just take a beat. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck. Go, 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 go. Shots fired. Shots fired. The police officer is down. Yeah, you getting girl, the fucking cunt. Get emotional. I'll, I'll look at the wall and cry. Thank you, Bolt Barry. Why is someone fucking helping her? People frustrate me, I swear to God. That is pissing me off on my head. People frustrate me, like, where are the fuck are the people? I'm getting pissed off. Fucking Jerry. Yeah, Jerry in the chat. Thank you, Jory. Big up Jory, thanks Jory for the, um, 
I don't even I'll just get emotional. I can't play anymore. There's a threat against me. <laughs> uniform, uniform. This is a major incident involving firearms. Repeat. A major incident involving firearms. ARVs have been notified and are inbound. Assess and contain. Repeat. Assess and contain. Over. I've not watched that yet. I'm not fucking paying 30, 40 quid for each series. Thank you, Nesta. Stay with that vehicle. Seven four is responding. Just hold on. They are with you in three minutes. Tasking police seven seven air support inbound. Left, left here. That vehicle is showing no matches. Over. Shut up. I've gone so like that one. Thanks, Paul. Thank you. Please survive. He can fuck himself because you'd be twat. Oh, so what do we owe the owner? What condition is the officer in? Wait, I'm gonna. Thanks, Paul. I'm gonna reset. 